Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your first product listing and get a collection started so that we can have uh, the sales process completed and ready for uh, you to start sending some traffic your way to get started making some money. So go to your Shopify dashboard right here and select products, click on it. So to add a product, you just have to uh, log into your account and, and go here in the products area. You should notice that, um, of course, um, as you first start, there are no products, even though uh, the store has been created. So to add a product, click on the add a product um, button right here at the top right corner. Um, if you have another store online or if you had one with Shopify previously, you can use the import button to um, import products right here. So I'm going to create one really quick for you right now. So once in the add product section, a window will pop up and you will be in the section where you can add all of the details, you know, like um, inventory options, SEO, visibility, and everything needed to add the product to the store, pricing, uh, shipping, uh, variants and uh, all of that. So in a, um, in my research that I'm going to be showing you later on uh, on how to find killer products, I found some pretty cool products on Amazon. One of those product um, one of those products was uh, uh, an argan oil for uh, the air niche because I used to sell also uh, hair niche products uh, for hair loss. Uh, etc. So, um, a premium organic oil for hair loss treatment called uh, Purador. Uh, it's a good product with great feedback and sold quite a bit. Uh, it's a bestseller and I'm, I'm going to show you later on all of this, so don't worry. Um, I'm going to set up the listing with this product in mind. So, here you add a title, okay? So, just make it very simple and based on the product. For example, let's say you are selling uh, t-shirts. You are going to be uh, typing something like your shirt title. Yeah, it's shirt title, white men, crew, neck. Shirt. something like this if it's uh, another physical product uh, in my case it's uh, uh, I'll put you know something like like I told you uh, Pura door premium organic oil for hair loss something like that uh, then I'm going of course to add um, to insert a description for the shirt or uh, other physical product like the Purado. Um, just uh, put some details about it, you know. You can add something like, uh, you know, this white 100% cotton men's t-shirt is perfect uh, for the person who loves uh, the Game of Thrones, you know? Something like this. Pretty easy, so uh, don't overcomplicate it. And, or in the case, for example, of uh, my oil product, um, I would go just into Amazon or eBay and take their details, benefits of futures uh, from there and insert them here in the box. Um, maybe don't just copy it uh, as is, just change them a little bit, but you know, you get the point. You can easily swipe it, so just don't copy it word by word. Another trick is looking at your competitors' product descriptions. That's what I do almost uh, every time. See what they say and what they offer. You can do the same for your product or give customers a unique offer. Then in organization, right here on the right, you will see a series of options. In product type, insert 
t-shirt or in my case hair products uh, hair or hair loss shampoo okay uh, in vendor you just insert the name of your store or the name of the product purador in my case okay I'm just uh, showing you right now really quick so uh, yeah um, this uh, hair loss shampoo okay <clears throat> scroll down to uh, inventory right here on the same page and then you see um, you can add some details about it you can insert the price in S key uh, U which is the stock keeping unit this can be any mixture of numbers and letters this is basically um, an uh, identifier for the product that you are selling so because if uh, uh, because of uh, it's a Game of Thrones uh, white t-shirt, I'm going to insert uh, something like Boosie S001, you know, something like this. You can just, you know, um, enter what you prefer. Just name the SKU uh, anything you want. Uh, like uh, the, the barcode is just optional. And in shipping, you... Uh, of course can add the weight you can add as many variants as you want for example um, you know if it's a shirt you can add color black white uh, you know uh, right here like color um, black white material cotton wool and sides SML Excel you know something like this so you can just um, come here and do add another option you can add them as many as you want Another option is images, where uh, right here, of course, uh, pretty uh, self-explanatory, you can select the file for the shirt and upload. In this specific case, I will upload the Pura Door uh, shampoo image, um, which is uh, this one right here. So um, I, I would just insert uh, that one. Next, you have the option to insert uh, details for the uh, search engines uh, SEO which is uh, right here edit website SEO you can insert page title uh, meta description uh, and URL um, they will be preloaded for you so keep them uh, as they are uh, but anyways I will explain exactly how to optimize all of your uh, uh, product listings so don't worry I'll cover that in a, a later video next comes uh, pricing uh, which is uh, this one right here. Um, since I paid like uh, twelve fifty nine with no shipping for the uh, Purador oil, um, I'm going to price it like something at uh, twenty five ninety nine, something like that. And uh, that doesn't include the uh, four ninety nine for shipping, which is going to bump it to uh, thirty um, uh, ninety eight. So now you have uh, pretty much everything set up to start selling. After that, uh, after you have inserted all of your details for the product, you just save the product here. And you can then preview your product and see what uh, it looks like. On the next video, I'm going to talk to you how to set up collections and uh, categories.